Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman Lois and the Arrowverse as a whole. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Before we get into this video, and it won't be very long, I just wanted to do a quick announcement. So I'm working on a film and we are doing crowdfunding right now, so any support that you guys can give towards the film that I'm making, I am the cinematographer on it, it would be greatly appreciated. The link is in the description below. It's a sci-fi film and it's going to be made pretty soon in the next couple of months, so if you guys can help out, that would be great. And just a quick thank you to everyone who watches my videos every day that they come out, and to the new subscribers, and I just want to say, stay safe out there, and I really do appreciate you guys. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. So we have a couple of questions that are coming from you guys. They are Q&A questions. If you have any other Q&A questions for future videos and you want to be featured in a video, please be sure to go over to my community tab right now and comment your question, theory, or topic that you want me to discuss in a video in regards to the Arrowverse, of course. But before we get into those questions, we have an article we're going over. It's from comicbook.com and the title is Brian Michael Bendis Explains Legion of Superheroes Animation and Its Adult Themes. So, as you guys know, the Legion of Superheroes is a big deal. You guys paid a lot of interest when it was first announced and I'm definitely interested in this show. I expect it's going to be somewhat similar to Young Justice. So that's always exciting for animation fans. But the Legion of Superheroes, we've been asking for this show since Supergirl's ended, and even before Supergirl ended, we were thinking about like what Supergirl spin-off can we have? And you know, the idea of introducing the Legion of Superheroes to the Arrowverse is great. However, this is probably not gonna happen because they announced back in December that HBO Max is developing an adaptation of the Legion of Superheroes from the comics into an adult animated series and so basically in this article Brian Michael Bendis who writes Legion right now he explained what he meant by adult themes basically it just means that you know the themes are going to be very mature and he goes on to say in the superhero spaces there are different levels of sophistication meant for different audiences there are even previous animated Legion shows that skewed young and some people hearing this announcement immediately reference that. I was just letting you know that this is potentially something else, something different. And so in reply to fans questions, Bendis later said that he couldn't give fans a real answer as to the show's animation style. However, he did speak to how the pandemic is allowing animators more freedom. He says, I can tell you the pandemic has allowed a lot of people in the animation spaces all over the world, both independent and multimedia corporate, to explore. You've already seen some of this pop up in all kinds of special projects. I think we're about to see a golden age of animation, something akin to the birth of Pixar. So this is very exciting and I just wanted to cover this small development in regards to you know, the show's themes and the fact that it's going to be quite mature is going to be kind of for an older audience. So probably something similar to, say, Invincible. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw Invincible on Amazon. It was really, really good. I love that show. However, I don't think it's going to be that brutal. But in terms of the mature themes, I think that is a good comparison. But nevertheless, I'm super excited for the show. I have no idea when it's coming. Probably not going to come for a couple more years. You guys know how long animation takes. It takes a very, very long time. So that's about it in regards to the Legion of Superheroes. Let's go ahead and answer some of your questions that you guys sent in. So Hank Bernard on YouTube sent a question. He says, I have a suggestion. Do a crossover with The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Stargirl, Batwoman, Naomi, Black Lightning, Gotham Knights, and Superman Lois. Well, that's a lot of shows. With a grand common enemy that threatens to destroy the one universe where everybody exists together while the multiverse is still in this era that we're in right now. And from there, they could find a way to repair the universe and recreate all the other universes out there that existed before Crisis on Infinite Earths, then all will be back to their own timelines and their own Earths, and we could have separate storylines developing again on each timeline. So, I like your suggestion, Hank, 
but I don't see it actually happening just because Crisis was such a big deal and it was a huge deal in the comics too. Like when it happened, the reason for them actually creating and coming up with Crisis is basically DC had too many universes out there and they needed to start on a clean slate. And so in the same way, the Arrowverse doing Crisis, obviously it's a homage to the comic book crossover, but it also acts as a clean slate for the Arrowverse which you've definitely seen on Superman Lois with them doing many, many retcons. But basically, it just gives them the option so that they can do whatever they want. Like, they can blame everything on Crisis. You can have Earth Prime, so you had Supergirl being on the Flash's Earth, although that didn't come to much use because Supergirl only lasted one more season after Crisis. And the same thing goes to Black Lightning. So basically, in their eyes, it opens up new story opportunities because Everything that happened, yeah, it did happen. However, they can adjust things and they can change them in the way that works for them in terms of creating new storylines and basically birthing new things out of that crossover. So basically, to answer your question, I don't think that they're going to do like some sort of big event that resets everything. I really don't think anything's going to be reset. In The Flash, it's been heavily emphasized that in the past, there is no way for things to be completely reset to the way things were before because if you remember Jay Garrick's cup theory, if something breaks, say if a mug breaks, it's snapped in half and you try and put it together, you can glue it together but the crack is always there, it doesn't disappear and same thing goes if they're trying to fix the multiverse in a potential crossover but yes, the idea of doing a crossover with all the shows like when Gotham Knights come, Justice U comes I'm all in for that. I love crossovers and I really want them to do a huge crossover once again. And that's nothing to shame on Armageddon because Armageddon was really, really good. However, it was pretty contained to just the Flash and a couple of characters showing up from the other shows. Okay, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Tevya on YouTube who asks, question. I'm just wondering, how would you do a crossover between Superman, Lois and Stargirl? So, I don't think I have a concrete answer on if they're going to do it. There is always the opportunity. There's been heavy talks from the Stargirl cast and crew that they wanted to cross over with Supergirl. Obviously, that's not going to happen anymore. But they also really wanted to cross over with The Flash. I feel like that is the biggest crossover that they would try and do. I think they're going to do it at some point. And how would I do it? Well, obviously, you would have The Flash and... Earth Prime basically discovering the multiverse once again because if you guys remember they haven't really realized there is a multiverse out there only us the audience know it because we've been shown it but basically after Crisis I think all of the heroes of the Arrowverse just presumed that Earth Prime was the only Earth because everything had merged together so Superman Lois definitely could do a crossover but it would mean multiversal travel probably Stargirl coming to Earth Prime to meet Superman and Lois as well. So let's move on to the next question. This comes from Fiction Master. They have a couple of questions. So the first one is, what supervillain will bring both Superman and Supergirl together again? So I'm not sure if they're going to cross over, right? Like I've said this many times, yes, I like theorizing about the potential of Supergirl returning or anyone from the cast or any of the characters coming back. However, if there is one villain that would reunite Supergirl and Superman, it would obviously be Lex Luthor, right? And John Cryer has stated since Supergirl has ended that he would love to come back. So it only makes sense that he would be that supervillain to bring both Superman and Supergirl together again. I really do think that would be the only possibility if it was, say, a sole Superman Lois Supergirl crossover. If it was a huge Arrowverse crossover, that would be different, and maybe that's the excuse for Supergirl to return. But let's move on to your next question. So, will Jordan become a superhero just like his dad? I think the easy answer to this is yes, at some point he's going to become a superhero. That's why he's getting training now. He needs to be able to help his dad in order to stop these threats, because as we've been made clearly aware, Superman is not strong enough to take these supervillains down like Bizarro. So let's move on, so this links to that. Will Lucy forgive Lois and come back home? And also vice versa, I guess. I think this is gonna happen by the end of the season. I don't know at what point, and I'm not sure if Jenna Darwin, who plays Lucy, has been on the set again. But I presume she filmed more 
but it seems like she was only in that one episode, but I guess it's only been one episode since we last saw her, so there's always a chance that she shows up and they kind of develop that storyline. That's like the only logical way that they can go. Like, I don't see them ignoring Lucy just after introducing her one time, so maybe Lucy will forgive Lois about what she did with the report and the fact that she kind of ruined her one true connection. Obviously, we're pretty sure Lucy saw the other side, she saw Bizarro World, and that's why she's been the way that she has on this version of reality. So, you know, not the Supergirl version of Lucy Lane. And I don't know if she's going to come back home. I would say she's probably going to move away somewhere, probably to a city like National City, which would be pretty cool. Alright, the last question, again from Fiction Master, is could Darkseid, the Snyderverse version, make a cameo? in a potential future crossover. So yes, the Arrowverse is coming up to the 10th anniversary. We are all thinking that they're gonna do a crossover. Would it be Darkseid? Like, I guess there is always a possibility. He's like the biggest of the bad guys since we've already had the anti-monitor. So you would guess at one point if they get the rights to Darkseid, they would use him in a crossover and they would try and fight him. And would it be the Snyderverse version? That would be insane. Like. We've been all theorizing, is there going to be a Justice League 2? Are we ever going to see this dark side again? I really don't think it's likely. However, I would be all for it because I thought it was a shame that he was introduced and they can't really do anything more with him. But this would definitely be a really good option if they ever thought of it. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. Also just a reminder that you can support the film that I'm making in the description below. Currently we're at £600 and we're getting to our goal so I would really appreciate your support and let me know if you do donate towards it. Give me a message and I'll be sure to thank you. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.